what's up booze welcome back my name is mina thank you for joining me today if you are new here hello thank you for clicking on this video and if you are a part of the fam hello how are you thank you for your continued support so today i thought i would just come to you guys just to chat while i do my makeup especially because i've just picked up some new products i've already tried them but i wanted to try them out with you guys to kind of give you guys some background in my experience with the wear and all of that good stuff i'm just going to put on like a little bit of lip gloss so my lips don't look like you know i've been trying to survive in the sahara desert for at least a week so i already washed my face and applied a little bit of moisturizer so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my primer now this primer has been pretty popular on youtube and i was like you know what i need to go ahead and try it so the primer that i'm trying today is the milk hydro grip primer i'm going to go ahead and take that out of the box I mean this is like freshly new okay so i wanted to keep it in the box to keep it all nice and protected i must say i've only worn it once but that one time that i wore honey it really showed me what it's about i'm gonna go ahead and just apply this to the face i bought this primer while i was in bama for my graduation and yes you guys i graduated finally you know i was coming to you guys and telling you guys you know about why i've been slacking or whatever and it was because of school and i had to go walk so i went to bama to do so and i had such a great time oh my god seeing my family my friends and things like that just really was so good for my soul so i had a really good time and yeah that's why this right here i can definitely say that it works i use this primer i didn't wash my face until may the 5th at like 4 p.m and i'm not even exaggerating not exaggerating because we had to pack we had to leave we had an early flight on sunday so i mean it was a lot okay it was a lot but this primer held up on my skin and my makeup stayed my skin stayed moisturized and after i washed my face i didn't really have a lot of breakouts so i was like okay hydro grip primer okay i really like the texture of it it is like a gel goes on pretty nice it is sticky if you immediately apply your foundation to it but if you wait a little bit it definitely dries down to a more smooth texture but it is still very hydrating anytime i want a natural look i'm definitely going to grab my nars natural radiant long wear foundation i love nars foundations overall and i definitely like this one but i think i may like the sheer glow a little bit better but i still have this one so yeah i'm not going to take that much and i'm going to do two pumps on both cheeks and then wipe off whatever's left on the top onto my skin i have been doing a new skincare regimen so my skin is more clear i shouldn't need that much foundation and that is something that is very nice to say the brush i'm using is a real Techniques brush. Now this color, it seems to be a little bit too pink for me at the moment. Well, I don't get a lot of sun where I'm at. It's sunny now, but I mean, it just started getting sunny. Okay, like yeah, I feel like it's been winter since October. Like it's ridiculous. So I haven't been able to get a lot of sun and be outside in the sun, and I feel like my undertone has changed to be a little bit more yellow than pink as it usually is. So my foundations more than likely don't really match right now, but that's okay, honey, we got tricks. Pull it down your neck, put a little bit right here, honey, and we are good to go. Now I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer, which is one of my all time favorite concealers and i'm just going to go over some areas that are a little bit more dark on my skin so around my mouth right here 
I'm also going to place this underneath my eyes just a little bit and this isn't for highlight this is simply to even out the skin tone to make that go on even more lightweight I'm going to spray my brush with my Smashbox primer water and this is what's going really this is just going to make sure nothing is really cakey and everything is just smoothing really nicely onto the skin have the LA Girl Pro Conceal nicely blended into the skin and as you see I still look pretty darn natural okay for a little bit of highlight I'm going to go in with my MAC prep and prime pen which isn't a new product but it's definitely one that I like to keep in my makeup collection because it adds brightness to the under eye without looking overly dramatic, okay? I'm going to let that sit a little bit. It is a more thin product, so I want it to kind of settle into the skin a little bit so I can keep a little bit of the brightness. While that is drying I'm going to set the rest of my face I'm going to use the cover FX perfect setting powder and this is in the color light and I'm going to use this to set my entire face in my opinion does not have any cast or anything when you take pictures so I like to first put this down to kind of just set lightly and what I like about this powder is you can still set your face, but your skin is still going to look radiant at the same time. So you can still see, you know, a little radiance, honey. It's not too mattified. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the Prep and Prime pen under my eyes. And this is a real technique sponge. And so now on top of that, I'm going to add just a little bit more in the inner corner where I may have a little bit more darkness. to go back in with that same light cover FX powder. I'm just going to lightly tap this over the prep and prime pen that I just put down. love to go in with the dark powder because it matches my skin tone a little bit more and it just warms up the skin so beautifully so I definitely love to go in with that and I'm just going to hit the rest of my face with that lightly and then I'll focus more on the hollows of my cheeks so just brushing that over it adds such a nice warmth to the skin like I love it and so then I'm just going to get some extra and just kind of run it up in here just to add more of a nice bronzy tone if you don't have those powders you need to go get them okay they are great they work very very well and I really like them and enjoy them 
I am going for more of a natural look, so I'm not going to do any eyeshadow, but I definitely wanted to come to you guys and apply this mascara on camera. I've used this a couple times and I love it. Vicky Logan is the one who actually put me onto this in her videos. And I will link one of her videos below where she talks about this. But this is Milk Kush Mascara. And I just got a travel size because even though I did believe her, I was like, eh, let me just get a little travel size just in case I don't like it, you know. But wow, I mean, even from the package, it's so heavy and you can tell that it's quality, all right? Milk, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. And what I like about this mascara is it does have little fibers in it. So it's going to elongate and thicken your lashes. It also curls your lashes very well. I have a problem with finding mascaras that actually curl my lashes while enhancing them. And uh, honey, this mascara does that. And specifically, I have a problem with my left eye. So this is my right eye. Okay, my left eye, my lashes are a little bit more straight out, and so they really have a hard time curling. But honey, when I put this on there, <laughs> we have curl, we have definition, we have lashes, okay? Thanks Vicky girl, thank you. Did this for my graduation, and I've done this plenty of times before, but this is actually an eyeshadow, I think it's from Milani Beach Sand, and it's actually, like I mentioned, an eyeshadow, but I'm going to be using it as a highlighter, and I'm going to be using a Morphe M438 brush. And we're going to apply that to the high points of our cheeks, and I like to bring that down a little bit too. So, you know, I'm going for that radiant, natural look. Whatever left over, I'm just gonna put some on my forehead. I love a natural, glowy forehead. Like, I think a glowy forehead is just the best. Like, you can really tell the health of someone's skin by their forehead. If their forehead isn't shining, honey, without makeup, then you already know, like, yeah, your skincare may not be on point. But if it's like nice and glowy, then you know. Okay. because all of our expressions is definitely in our forehead and of course around the mouth area but that forehead honey is going to give you a true indication of what's going on in the skincare department now i'm just going to take my brush and kind of go back over and oh this is also a morphe brush i love this brush it's an e41 powder brush just to have a little bit of blush and elf palette which i've had for some time but you guys it is amazing so it reminds me of one of the nars palettes with the duo pans in here. So you will have a bronzer and you have a blush. So I love the blush part and the bronzer part, but today I'm just going to use the blush part to just add some rosiness to the cheeks. And it also has a little shimmers in it. So it adds a little bit more glow as well. For the lips, I'm just going to add the gloss that I put on before we got started. And this is also by e.l.f. and it's an e.l.f. gloss. And it is in Tangy Tangerine. So yeah, I really like it alone too. All right, you guys, so that is the completed look. Thank you guys for watching this video today. I will be uploading more videos, so definitely stay tuned for that. I am so excited to finally be able to give my time. And as you all know, I do this for fun, okay? I do it because it's really something fun for me and it gives me an escape away from my normal life. So I definitely want to thank you guys once again for just tuning in and watching your girl, okay? If you are interested in joining the MDD family, then go ahead and subscribe all right hit that subscribe button and if you aren't and you just want to continue to watch me that's fine too boo boo maybe one day you will join us maybe one day you won't but at least you're here watching me and I hope I made you laugh made you smile and maybe gave you some tips and tricks and some new product ideas that you can check out so yes thank you smooches booze and I'll see you guys on my next video bye